Matt, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation in terms of culture of it. A lot of times when the candidates, they do the phone interview or face-to-face, and then they get an email saying that, thank you very much for the opportunity, but culturally you're not fit. What does that really mean, culturally not fit? And sometimes there are other places they said, you should be able to culturally add. So what are your intent in terms of cultural fit versus cultural add? Most common in my most commonly in my experience, I find that when companies talk about culture, they're talking about values. Mm-hmm. What are the organizational values? And I've seen an increase in the number of employers who are being transparent about their values on mm-hmm. their website. So certainly if the careers page has a section around their company culture and values, mm-hmm. then you'd want to really absorb and understand that. Uh, and, it, and I think that that's one, one big thing. For example, a company might really prioritize uh, fast pace. Yeah. You know, we're a fast paced company. We move really quickly. We like to incorporate ideas fast. Yeah. That would be an important thing. Another might say that, uh, you know, community service, making sure that all of our employees are active mm-hmm. in their community and using mm-hmm. some of their discretionary time at work to invest in the causes that they care about. If that's an important cultural mm-hmm. driver for them, then that would be important to understand. Another might say uh, high levels of professionalism. You know, our, our clients trust us with their money. And so it's really important that we're always put forward this professional face. Okay. Being a poor cultural fit might be you showed up late to the interview. You weren't dressed appropriately the way they would have expected. Like you're not exactly a cultural fit. Yeah. There's only so much you can learn about a candidate in the interview process. But as an interviewer, it's your job to try to choose yeah. those candidates who are going to assimilate well. Culture is only one data point for a, a responsible employer. It's not, you know, no one thing should knock you out of the contention, but you dem- your ability to demonstrate a cultural fit is going to really mm-hmm. enhance your candidacy. So you want to make sure you understand it and that you demonstrate uh, your, your fit based on your understanding of that culture. Thank you very much for that, Matt. But what about value element? Do you think that, let's say I read a job description and I read the values, maybe I match four out of the five. Should I apply for that? Or does that value element should be 100%, 80%? It all all depends on the company and the job. Yeah, it does depend on the company and the job. It's a little bit more subjective. If I Mm -hmm. felt I was a really strong fit for four out of five, uh, elements, I definitely would apply for that job. Yeah. The other thing you can do is while you're in your interview, remember that an interview is a conversation. It's not yeah. just they ask you questions and you sit there. It's and a two-way them. communication. It's a two-way communication. And so one yeah. thing I like to ask when I'm getting into culture is say, tell me an example of your top performers. What do they all have in common? Yeah. That's going to tell you a lot about culture. Or give me an example of a recent employee who received an award or who was promoted. What did they do that was so noteworthy that you highlighted them to the rest of the company? Yeah. Well, when they tell you the answer to that question, you're going to start to glean a little bit about what the company values, because mm-hmm. if they're celebrating them publicly or if they're promoting them, you know, what was it? Well, they made a decision without all the information, but they knew they had to act quickly and it was our mm-hmm. largest client. So they did this thing. You're like, yeah, OK, great. Okay. I've done something similar to that. Yeah. You know, that, that's an example where you can learn even a little bit more than what you're going to hear about on the web, or read about on the website. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matt, for your insight. Again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of cultural ad or cultural fit, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Matt.